in, in less than a couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how to write um, on a piece of paper. I've kept it all ready for you. Uh, but before that, I would like to share some things which you should be taking care on that day of the examination. First of all, make sure that you have a pouch in which you've got the right amount of pens and pencils and erasers. So there would be a particular pen which you're very comfortable writing. Okay, so buy 10 or 20 of that exact pen which you're comfortable of writing with and keep it in your pouch and keep it ready. So don't bother if it's not working, just throw it. Uh, refill khatam ho gaya, pek do, you know. Instead of searching and researching newer pens, that one pen should be sufficient. Erasers, pencil, scale, uh, keep all of this very ready. Hall ticket is an important thing, you know. So make sure that you are keeping with yourself a color Xerox, a color, a color photocopy of this hall ticket with you as a safety in your house uh, so that if something goes wrong or you have a backup of the hall ticket with you. When you go to the examination center, carry a transparent pad with you. Um, that's the norm, that's the rule, a transparent pad. Um, Carry everything, you keep your kit ready so you don't have to invest time searching it every night or before the examination or if something is damaged. Have, have this ready with you and go in a complete right mental state. So come, I'm going to show you how you will uh, write this paper over here. So let me show you this. So this is the hollow craft. Um, it's hollow here and there's gum on all the sides and this is your barcode sticker. Your barcode sticker will have data here. And it's got a barcode here so this is barcode here so this is what you're gonna do you're gonna peel this off you're gonna peel this off and you're gonna stick this uh, when you're gonna stick there's a center line given over here this center line coincides with the center line there's a center line in the paper if you go to see right so it, it has to coincide with that center line so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it over here in a way and I'm gonna stick this now when I'm sticking this I got to take special care that the barcode is on the right hand side and the details are on the left hand side now I take the holocraft sticker I take the holocraft sticker and I stick it on this right the two arrows over here point outside these two arrows point outside to the left hand side and I'm gonna stick it on this and this is going to again be in such a way that that this this line and this touches over here in this way so now why is this in this particular fashion nobody knows the details now because the details have gone inside the details have gone inside and outside is only the barcode data so if somebody has to come to know or detect your paper kiska hai the only way they can do it is with a barcode scanner right um, the data is inside in the holocraft sticker and then of course what you do is you fill in all the data over here yeah you keep filling in all the data the subject the paper the date the language of answer is always your medium it's an English medium paper so even if you're writing a Hindi or a Marathi paper your language of answer is the medium in which you are so that's gonna be English main answer booklet plus jitna supplements apne liya hai agar apne char supplement liya hai so then it is 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5 agar apne char supplement liya hai aur supplement ke saath apne ek graph liya hai then the graph is also considered to be a supplement so you will follow it in the same way jitna supplements aap loge har ek supplement ke upar barcode stick karna hai okay holocraft stick karna rahega so you will follow this protocol as it is every time yeah now specific remarks of the center conductor this is never to be filled and you pray that this never gets filled by any examiner as well and here uh, the examiner and the chief moderator would sign over here and would get all the data over here and the marks later on that's later on you see this line this line is perforated and this is how uh, they they kind of use this from here they tear it and the data gets scanned well so let's begin how you will start writing Take all the waste and keep it properly in one place. Don't throw it in the classroom. Keep it in one place. I prefer to keep it in my pocket or in my compass box. When I go out, I will throw it. Now, this is the paper. Um, we have a section over here where the main quest number is to be written. I personally prefer to put a line here. I personally prefer to put to divide this margin into two. And I also prefer to put just a line over here to tell me that I'm not supposed to cross 
this barrier. So this is for me. So now here, if my question number is two, question number two, ka main question number A, A ke andar ka first one. So this is how I will be answering these questions. Uh, question number two, A ka first one. And then of course I will be starting to write the answer. Whatever is my answer I want to write. I write the answer and when I write the answer, I would write, 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 write and then I would take the second question. Question number two ka A ka second one. So I would leave this line and write second question of 2A. Of 2A second question is what I will do. And again I would be writing the answers and after I write the answers, I would again leave the line and put third. Now if question number two has a B, my B is here or my B is on the next page. My B is on the next page. Remember, I will have this lines done everywhere. I will have this lines done everywhere. Now, what if I finish question number 1A here khatam kar diya, and it doesn't have a B. So what am I supposed to do? So question number 2A has say two questions and question number 2A ke baad there is question number 2B. And let's say my 2B gets over here. Okay, this is the place where my question number 2B gets over. Okay, um, if my question number 2B gets over here, should I start the next question here? If it's a new question, remember this always a new question, a new question is always to be started on a new page. What's a new question? Question number 2A. Question number 2B, and let's say it has question number 2C, and then there is question number 3. Question number 3 is a new main question. Question number 2A ke baad, 2B can follow, 2C can follow, but even if there is space, don't put question number 3 here, leave the space, and start question number 3 here fresh. So this is your question number 3. And let us say question number 3 has one question, no sub questions, directly question number one, you write it, and then two, you write it. Now, here's something. What if there is a diagram? Okay, what if there is a diagram and you mention the diagram over here? When you mention the diagram over here, the, the diagram, you make sure that the diagram is put in a box. Put the diagram always in a box. And Nietzsche, you can write down what the diagram is about. If it's about human eye, you write down it's human eye. Now, the diagram requires uh, naming. The diagram requires naming. So how would you name it? You can name it all on one side. So name this and write down what it is about. Name this, write it down what it is about. Name this and write it down what it is about, right? name this and write it down what it is about so in this way all the names come on one side okay it's not messed up here and there if you want to name something over here you take it over here and you name it over here this is a good way to name you put a box around it and that looks neat that looks very very good doesn't it look good yeah it does now when you write answers i always and personally feel that if it is quest number four ka a ka first one ka answer likhna hai aapko aur ye answer ka agar char point hai ya paanch point hai answer ka i personally feel you should you should write the answers in point form you should put an asterisk and these could be the point forms you know uh, it can be an asterisk it can be a dash it can be an arrow it can be anything but don't use any kind of numbering don't use abc don't use one two three don't use roman one two three don't use any of these things now let us say as you're writing the answers um, i'm writing quest number three and quest number three has a and the question is actually answer any two out of three and i wrote the first one i wrote the first one and uh, now second likhne ka hai but I am kind of forgetting what the answer is. So what should I do? Think, think, think and waste time or leave it and go to the next question. What should I do? Leave it and go to the next question. How much space should I leave? You know that this is a one line answer. So you know how much space to live. You know it's a give reason. So you know how much space to live. 
वट एवर स्पेस यू थिंक यू शुड लीव उससे एक हाथ दो लाइन ज्यादा ही छोड़ना लीव अ लिटल मोर सो दैट यू आर कंफर्टेबल इन राइटिंग इफ यू रिमेंबर एंड यू कंटिन्यू विद योर पेपर एंड इन दी एंड वेन यू हैव द टाइम यू कम बैक टू दिस पॉइंट वे यू लेफ्ट इफ यू रिमेंबर ग्रेट इफ यू डोंट रिमेंबर जस्ट कट दैट स्कोर स्पेस ओवर देर Here's what I would like to suggest. I would like to suggest that write something about it, because according to me, when you write something about it, you would get some marks at least about it. You may get a half mark out of two, but it's better than not getting anything at all. You know, something is better than achibat kai nai. So write write something on it, because you will get something out of it. Now, some students have this habit of writing shri over here or om over here. or 786 over here i correct papers and i see all these some kind of identity revealing over here do not do not reveal in any form any of your identity it is not going to help you at all so don't reveal your name your caste your locality don't reveal anything it's not going to help you at all don't do this so whether you're giving a graph or a map um you will get a segment where you'll have to add all your um barcode and everything on your graph and your map uh, fit in everything in the space provided and once you fit it in you also will have to come over here and you have to keep writing over here the number of supplements taken sometimes children forget to count the map or a graph as a supplement now that is not cool you have to include that also over here punch your paper well tie it well and you're good to go now um i'm going to give you all something um there is a link given in the description okay uh, you can click this link uh, after 3 days uh, from today after 3 days you click this link this link will take you to a page on which i am going to write down specifically english ka marking scheme science history geography algebra geometry ये सब का मार्किंग स्कीम स्पेशल टिप्स एंड हाउ यू शुड फॉलो द राइटिंग पैटर्न फॉर ईच ऑफ दिस आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू ऑल दीज डिटेल्स इन दिस लिंक एंड ऑल्सो अ बोनस आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ प्रॉपरली रिटन पेपर फॉर साइंस एंड फॉर मैथ्स बाय वन ऑफ द टॉपर्स ऑफ लास्ट ईयर आई एम गोइंग टू री राइट दैट पेपर एंड पुट इट अप ओवर हियर इन पी डी एफ फॉर for you to see that so remember um, you can write to us in the comment section you can go to the website that uh, we help children to get a lot of resources the website is meritstore.in and click on the ssc section and that's good to go for you in that section you will also have a place where you can pick up some sample question papers you can also pick up from that website how to write papers um you can also pick up a lot of free resources for the ssc students over there so i want you to focus more on writing skill students know the answer sometimes but they lack the writing practice so pick up these question papers which are available on meritstore.in and start writing down solving these question papers you can give these papers to us we will correct it and give it to you at no cost practically so good luck children wish you a great life's first board examination cheers to your life